Holy smokes, it's a Tuesday afternoon here and it is absolutely hectic. <laughs> Manila's Chinatown is packed with history, things to do, and most importantly, things to eat. So today, I'm going to be checking out some great places to pick up a snack. Wow. Hudson. Stop it, I mess it up. Sprinkled in between some of those foodie spots, I'm going to share a bit of history about this fascinating slice of Manila. Because you can't just eat your way around this Chinatown without learning about how it came to be. And with Lunar New Year just around the corner, I thought it would be a great time to share. Getting to Manila's Chinatown, aka Binondo, is pretty easy. There are plenty of entrances. However, if you can enter over the Pasig River via the Jones Bridge, it makes for a pretty grand arrival. That is us arriving to Chinatown. Once you're under the new Binondo Chinatown Arch, it's worth hopping out and exploring from there. Our first stop this morning is going to be Ying Ying's Tea House to pick up some dim sum. This place serves up Cantonese classics like roast meats and dim sum. Because it was early, we kept it light and just went for some bao. Holy smokes. That has a big bao, it's about the size of my face. The verdict? Meaty. <laughs> and from my buddy Samantha. Hard shit. It's very different than what I... What are you used to? Yeah. I'd say the dim sum wasn't the most delicate, but it was hearty and didn't break the bank. Salama, thanks you guys. Thank you. Onwards to our next stop, and whilst I take you through some of these streets, I think it's time for a bit of history. Bonondo is known as the Chinatown area of Manila. Although different theories exist, the name supposedly comes from the Tagalog word Binondo, which means mountainous due to the former hilly landscape of the area. Founded by the Spanish colonial government in 1594, Binondo was originally meant for Chinese immigrants who had converted to Catholicism, making it the oldest Chinatown in the world. Okay, next up on our food list, we've got Dongbei Shui Jia, aka Dongbei Dumplings. These pork and chai dumplings were absolutely delish. Fresh ingredients, cooked to perfection, and I would 100% come back again. But, mess that up. That's good. Now, right opposite Dongbei Dumplings were a couple of fruit stores which had the best smelling passion fruit I've ever had, and some of these. Makopa in Tagalog. Rose apple in English, and for some reason I know them as shampoo, but I don't know why. <laughs> Just around the corner from the dumpling spot, I also noticed a Buddhist shrine with folk leaving incense, which brings me on nicely to my next bit of history. So, Binondo was for Catholic Chinese, but what happens if you're a non-Catholic Chinese? Well, before and during Binondo's creation, there was a designated area for all the Chinese community, called Parian, right next to Intramuros, the old world city. Supposedly, you could only move to Binondo if you converted. This was appealing given the Spanish official's policy of expelling or killing Chinese immigrants who refused to convert. Sadly, Padian was burnt down, then torn down in the 1700s, so Binondo was left as one of the few options to move to. Nowadays, Christianity is not the only religion represented in Binondo. There are two famous Buddhist temples, and you'll also see Buddhist shrines dotted about. Okay, next up on the old snack list, we've got sugarcane juice on Ongpin Street. Ongpin Street is one of the classic foodie streets here in Chinatown, so there's a lot of options. We just had sugarcane juice, and this is how they juice it. Is that okay? Salama, thank you. Oh my god, that's refreshing. First sugarcane experience it's like sweet for bubs over here. With like a hint of parts of palm. Because we were in Chinatown the week up to Lunar New Year, things were hectic and decorations and gifts were out in full force. One thing that seemed to be super popular were these special tea koi, which come in all shapes and sizes. Basically, it's a type of rice cake made from rice flour, and it's a big deal during Lunar New Year. In Mandarin, it's called Nian Gao, and over here in the Philippines, simply tea koi. Aside from the yummy tea koi lining the streets, we also kept on seeing these edible arrangements. I love these Chinese New Year decorations, which I've never really seen before, so it might be a bit of a Philippine Chinese thing. It's like, it's like a Christmas wreath, but with a mini pineapple and some root vegetables. We found out that they're called... Get, get, po. Get, get. And is it only time for Chinese New Year? and also learned that the 12 lemons, limes, slash root veg mark the 12 months of the year. 
Now, the next two spots you absolutely cannot miss because they were probably the best two things that we ate in the whole of Chinatown. Okay, one of our last snacks we're getting is a Shanghai fried xiao bao. Made and cooked in their little shop, these fried xiao bao have been a staple since the 80s. The slightly sweet fluffy buns are packed with ground pork, onion, and chives, and they are pretty damn juicy. There's one thing that you snack on when you're in Chinatown, get one of these delicious. As prosperous as Chinatown has been, it's had some dark chapters in its history. Notably, the Chinese massacre of 1603, which decimated the community, and also World War II, which destroyed tons of buildings. Fortunately, Binondo has persevered and been rebuilt. It's become a hub of trade, finance, and very importantly, a cultural center and catalyst for the fusion of Chinese and Filipino cultures. So for our last stop on today's Eat Our Way Around Chinatown, we're going to somewhere called Ling Nam's Wonton Parlor and Noodle Factory for their very famous beef noodle soup. Ling Nam has been around since the 50s. It started as this humble noodle house with a few tables serving up beef wonton noodles. Just two wonton beef noodles, yeah. Seven decades on, the noodles are still a favorite. And you know what? They were definitely mine. Gally. How long have you been making noodles for? How many years? 31. 31 years of making these noodles? No way. Are you the boss? No? You should be the boss by now. The boss is over there. Okay. Holy smokes. That was quick. Beef? Good. Noodles? <laughs> Good. Last thing. One time. But, um, I got to stab it. Hunter. Good. Chinatown. Xin Yao Hua Le.